to Coffee Talk this morning. Richard, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, Randy. How about yourself? I feel great. And, you know, we're we're getting into the Christmas season here. And um, I'm sure in Indiana, we're going to see some snow eventually, although we did see snow a couple of weeks ago. And a little bit. 70 degree weather and, and now cold again. But nevertheless, um, just wanted to talk a little bit about gifting yourself as a music educator, gifting yourself the time to focus on fundamentals and continuing to get better um, with your students and, and also the self-care of, of going to events that help you improve, whether it's Midwest uh, Band Directors Clinic, whether it's um, a local association, and of course, Con Selmer Institute, which takes place June 11th through the 14th. Um, you can go and register uh, by just simply going to consummerinstitute.com. Early bird registration ends January 1st, so make sure you gift yourself that opportunity as well. We're going to have some fabulous clinicians, and Richard, uh, we probably should say too that for the first time, we're going to wrap the, the marching arts curriculum into the Con Summer Institute curriculum so that folks don't have to stay an extra couple of days, they don't have to pay any extra fees, right? Yeah, it'll be right there during um, the rest of it, during the rest of Con Summer Institute. It'll be from that Sunday through that Wednesday, uh, just like the rest of it. So um, we would love to have people participate. We think, you know, as we've had in the past, we've had world-class clinicians and uh, this year is going to be no different. And we'd love to have you guys come out and attend. Absolutely. So as we look at, at gifting, um, Richard, I know we were talking a little bit about, you know, just things that we saw during the marching season. Um, and, and you were talking about um, a situation with the with, uh, University of Michigan marching band. Why don't you share that with us? Yeah, uh, my friend John Pasquale is the director of the University of Michigan marching band. And uh, if you haven't heard that band, they, they play very differently uh, than, than most uh, college bands. And not, that, not, uh, not a put down of college bands at all, but John's groups just sound amazing. They sound absolutely amazing. He's such a good musician and such a good rehearsal technician and a wonderful person as well. Uh, the, the Michigan kids, I guess, found out that this very young student uh, was just praising the Michigan band. And I don't know if it was through games or whatever, but he saw the Michigan band a bunch of times and he was just telling his parents how crazy he was uh, about wanting to be in the Michigan band when he grew up. And um, so I guess the Michigan folks found out about it and they actually invited him to a rehearsal, which I thought was very, very cool. And of course, he, the, the video of him in that rehearsal, he looks like he's in heaven. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And of course, the kids, the directors, the staff, everyone treated him like he was royalty. Um, and I guess when he got back, uh, he, he doubled up on his lessons, his piano lessons and drum lessons. And whatever, and I just thought it was a, a great, uh, a great thing that John and the, and the group did to just uh, say a little bit about what band does for kids and how band can motivate and excite kids. So I just thought that was a neat thing for the holiday, just to share with everyone. Well, thanks for sharing that, Richard. And uh, you know, happy holidays to everyone out there. Enjoy your time off, recharge those batteries, and uh, get back at it starting that first or second week of January. Wish all of you a Happy holiday, and uh, we'll see you next time on Coffee Talk. Have a wonderful holiday, everybody. Take care.